I would like to welcome uh, someone who I should really embarrass to say has never played here before because I uh, heard the sound check today and I was like, what have I missed? You know? And it's really such an honor because this man, he travels all the time. And I see his Facebook pages in Hawaii and Thailand and you know, always surrounded by beautiful women and all kinds of things like that. You know, I mean, it's like really incredible. Like, and this man also hiked for cancer, like amazing, the trails. And you probably hear more about it. So he's a person of high integrity. Please put your hands together. Not from Colorado, but moving on, the citizen of the world, Pete Cressy. Sailing away, hello, goodbye. So many before have come and gone, hello, goodbye. As the sun sinks low with the rising sea, hello, goodbye. We sit and we sing a farewell song, hello, goodbye. Oh, who we hope to hang out high How old I okay, Kai Hello Aloha, goodbye Stars they shine, they fall from the sky. Hello, goodbye. Oh, who we hold, hey, I hide. How old I okay, Kai. Hello, aloha, goodbye. new record that came out today. Uh, uh, thank you. 
been writing it for a very long time. I've never had a record like this. Usually I, I just pick random songs that I recently wrote, and, and I write a lot. And, um, and then this particular record I've been writing for five years, and I've written about 35 songs in the Kalalau Valley on Kauai's North Shore. And there's a place called Mahayao, Heiau High. And Ha'ole Ao Oke Kai means from land to the sea to greet the day. And, uh, and Ahui Ho means until next time. So um, <clears throat> these songs all came from this beautiful place. It is the most beautiful place in the world. But you do have a look at the CD. In fact, I should just open one up so you can see the photographs inside and everything. Yeah, pass it around, would you? Yeah. Um, there's some photographs. The cover is a photograph my friend Jamie took of me. I had no idea she was going to be taking that picture. And about six months later, she said, oh my gosh, look at this picture I got of you. And I'm like, that needs to be the cover of this record if I ever record it. And it was me after I wrote a song, um, and I just couldn't believe that. It's, it's really, honestly, it's a, um, it's a uh, I feel like I'm possessed when I'm out there. It's a very strange thing. It doesn't happen anywhere else I've been. And I like finding places around the world to write, places that give me songs. And this place in particular, the Hales, where they had the very first luau ever in history. 1600 some years ago, the very first Polynesian landed on the islands of Hawaii and they landed on the Kalau Beach and they procreated and there were 10,000 people living back in this valley. And now it's all ruins and all spirits and all just hippie people from me. <laughs> and we're, we're hanging out naked and we're, we're gardening and we're, we're just hanging out there blissfully and peacefully. And so when I first went out there five years ago, I could not believe that a place like this existed. So. I've consistently been going back, and every time I go back, I walk out with a backpack and a guitar strap on the back of a smaller guitar, and a, a couple new songs each time. And I'll explain more about it. I, it, it really, I, I can't, I can't explain how it happens in, in this particular place. But I just sit on this hangout, and I, and I, and and I come down six hours later with a song, and I, it's not my melody. It's it's Mama Kalalau's melody, and it's her message. It's her words, and it's, um, I have a friend that does meditations out there, and she would give these meditations on the hail every night at sunset, and she would say the stuff that she got in her meditation from the spirits of the Hawaiian spirits, and they would be the exact same message that I wrote in my songs that day. So I said, hey, Elise, this is weird, but I just wrote that down. It happened again, it happened again, it happened again, it happened 15, 20 times. And she said, and she'd been living back there for seven years, she said, I've never seen a dance with anybody like you have with Mama Kalau. It's unbelievable. We watch you come here twice a year. And so this place is really special to me. So I, I think through this night and evening, I'm, 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 and for the rest of my life now that I have this CD, I'm very, very proud of that now I can share this place and these songs and this message from Mama Kalau to you. And so to me, that was kind of the whole mission on this was to have a concept record, to have something that doesn't have bluegrass on it, because I love bluegrass, but I just wanted to step away from it for a minute. And, um, but speaking of that, maybe we should do a bluegrass on that. <laughs> um, I'm gonna do, I am gonna do one that, I, when I left, um, I left Colorado September 25th, and the flood hit, I believe, on the 17th. And I left, I was at the 12th, okay, so 12th through the 17th or 18th, and I was scheduled, to, my flight was leaving the 25th, so I lived on 4th Street, and I'm watching all these stuff, and I'm hearing the mountain collapse above me, and, and I'm standing there with a bag of cash and my guitar, and I'm going, what do I do? And the mountain's sliding, and the sirens going off, and it was all this time, that it, was in, it was insane for all of us. And um, to leave an area that I, I love so much after 14 years, and to sell everything I own, and just jump off and surrender wow. to whatever, and it it's, can be a very scary thing, and um, I just had to do it, I have to see the world before I die, and you know, I never know when I'm gonna die, so uh, I better hurry up and do this. It's gonna happen any time now. Got something to fall in my head. Um, and so I started this journey, and the first song that I wrote on this journey was called, uh, is called, Dance with Life. And it's the one I'm going to share with you now. And this is Melissa, everybody. Put it up for Melissa.
We've got lots to say about this girl, and I barely even know her. We've had more conversation with music, but that is conversation just as much as verbal conversation. And so I feel like I know her even more so because we've had lots of musical conversation. Not enough. And unfortunately, I'm, done. I'm bummed that I'm leaving because and we just met, and she came and sat in with my band at the Gold Hill Inn, and it was great. I'm like, awesome, you're, you're great. Will you please come sit in with me at the Laughing Goat? Yeah, so she came down, and I said, will you please play my my uh, CD release show with me? And she said yes, and she's super talented. I'm just loving this. So.
Want to come to Germany? <laughs> Bring the dog. That's great. The musical language. So I teach a lot of workshops on that. You know, it's, it's a language, just like anything else. And I, uh, I, I need to practice what I preach, so to speak. I didn't really ever, um, I never really got a chance to speak language with somebody who didn't know English. But I teach that in schools all over, elementaries, junior highs, college. Everywhere when I tour, I would go talk to kids or people about the universal language of music and the similarities between nature and music. And I'll get into that more because in a little bit, because that was uh, my hike for Cancer Foundation I did. I, I hiked thousands of miles through the Rockies, and that's when I learned about the similarities between nature and music. Um, <clears throat> but when I went to Thailand, they always said, they're going to want to play Hotel California. <laughs> and I was like, really? For real? Like, yeah, yeah. So I get there, and I go to Tansai, and it's this beach, and, and I'm hanging out, and this guy, little, he goes by Baby Marley. He looks like a little miniature Bob Marley. And he's brother, what's up, brother? Hey, yeah, man. I go, hey, and he's like all Rastafari, but he's Thai, it's so awesome. And, uh, and he goes, he goes, you got a guitar, you play? And I said, yeah, he goes, go play with my friends over here. And I was, so I go, okay. And he goes, hey, Ota California? And I was like, let's do it, man. People tell me I sound like Don Henley all the time, so I was like, I'm a doctor's in Highway. And he was like, yes, yeah. so we just sang it. And everywhere I went, was Hotel California, <laughs> Sultans of Swing, and, and they played the solo note for note really? everywhere I went. And, and songs like Firehouse, I'm the one who wants to be with you. And it's like all these songs from the 80s, like these yeah. hair it's awesome. Can't wait to go back. <laughs> and nobody plays bluegrass out there, because it's more of an American music, so, um, so to be able to do, bring these loop pedals and be able to take solos and stuff was super fun to share with. People in Bali or Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, was, they would all just go, what? And it was awesome. It was so fun to like, share something. So I met a lot of people that didn't speak any English, I guess is more of my story. And, um, and to play music, it was like we kind of knew each other, you know, because we were having a conversation, because it's exactly what we were having. It's exactly what we're having right now, so, uh, without verbal words. Um, I'm going to get back to the, uh, to the uh, CD, the new CD. Um, this is a song I wrote after waking up. Yeah, the song I woke up, uh, wrote after waking up and seeing the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. Um, and it was I was on a hammock and there was a rainbow. There was the Nepali coast. There was a humpback whale jumping underneath the rainbow. Now this is this happens a lot out there. In fact, just a few weeks ago when I was back there, this rainbow came every morning and humpbacks were jumping through the rainbow every morning. But this one particular time. Beams of light, mist from the ocean, because there are 30 foot swells, rainbow, dragonflies this big, and, and a lilikoi tree, and butterflies, and it was ridiculous. And I woke up and I just cried. Mm. I could not believe how beautiful it was. It was absolutely, it was unreal. And so I sat down, I cried for like a half an hour. I just sat there and was like, so much. I like, So I wrote this song, uh, finally when I could get up. Um, and uh, speaking of Colorado, I met this, this guy who just got here back in the valley. He's, he frequents the valley. This is Michael, everybody. <laughs> I've met Michael, Michael in the valley, and we both realized we're from Colorado, and now we see each other either in Colorado or in, Col in Colorado. Got a seat, buddy. Making me nervous. So this is a this is a song called Dreaming that I wrote that morning. Songbird sings a love song as I lie there watching. Little accord gets some light in the trees above me. Dolphins in the distance, they are spinning, jumping. I can't believe my eyes are on a swing. I am dreaming, dreaming, taking away. Dreaming, I'm dreaming, my heart.
With my back turned towards the vast and deep blue ocean With the same beauty of the clouds they're dancing I know that I'm awake but I can swear That I am dreaming, dreaming, dreaming Breath is taken by the body and its magic Showers on and off again with rainbows fading Counting hours like no other can imagine That I'm living here awake, I swear That I am dreaming, dreaming So uh, from from there, I went to uh, to Thailand and Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, and realized that uh, our first world problems mean nothing. And that's that's what I got out of that. So then I I came back to the states just a month and a half ago. And, um, I hear people complaining about stuff, and it's so funny to me. <laughs> I hear myself complaining about things, and it's funny to me because it's really these people are out there, and there's like hundreds of miles of villages with people that really just can't even barely put food on their plates yet. They're still giving, they're still welcoming, they're still happy, and it's unbelievable. It teaches you something. And that's nice. Um, so I wrote some songs out there, and uh, I had a friend that, I used to get really upset about the, uh, about the, uh, well, something you should be upset about, but it's, um, how we be upset, how we are upset, what kind of vibration are we putting on. Um, but with the Fukushima thing, you know, I get really bummed out. And my friend said, you know, it's just a beginning, just know that. I'm like, I don't like this beginning. <laughs> and uh, so I, I just had to deal with it. And I said, you know, you're right. I mean, it is. Sometimes beginnings I don't have the greatest uh, start or whatever got it there. Thank you. So I wanted to write a song kind of with that in mind, and uh, it's called uh, Just the Beginning. Just the Beginning. Mm -hmm. 
Seems like all this time coasting around this whole world will surely be changing me. Just a beat up bag for all I own and some time that's rearranging me. And I know it's not the end, it's just the beginning. Sometimes we have to lose it all to find the winning. I know in this crazy, crazy world we gotta count each and every blessing. Teach all those who don't know this or that so they can go through this life without guessing. No matter what we do or don't have has no claim on everyone's tomorrow. We all know one in this big old space So try to give more than you ever could borrow And no, it's not the end, it's just the beginning Sometimes we have to lose it all to find the way yeah. Sometimes you gotta lose it all I thought I'd seen it all until I turned another corner that caused a bruise in my perception. And I worry about where we're going so fast with no thought of why or what direction. Ashes to ashes we all fall just to get ourselves up on the side of the ground. I feel the same about today to tomorrow and all that is lost it should be found. You know that it's not the end, it's just the beginning. Sometimes we have to lose it all to find a winning. Oh, oh. volume down so the truth can grant all of our wish. Yeah, we know now that collectively we can change the world. We're all brothers and sisters. We scar and we blister. One love to unfurl to know. It's not the end, it's just the beginning. Sometimes we have to lose it all to find Oh, it's not the end, it's just the beginning Sometimes we have to lose it all to find a way mm -hmm.
Thank you very much. Yeah. Have you ever heard that song? See how that works? She's never heard that song. But see, that's the thing, like, you, you, you were just talking about something, it's like, we're having a musical conversation, and if we know the language of music, then why shouldn't we be able to just talk about it, right? The whole deal about it. We're just uh, how many musicians are here? How many people? So there's like a small percentage, and there's four or five. So, so that's that's the whole deal. Is like that's what makes music so cool. For I wish I didn't know the language of music sometimes, and I'd love to see how that felt to go see somebody perform and not know <laughs> if their B string was flat. And it drives me nuts. And, uh, I wish I didn't have pitch like I do. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it must be really cool. I'm envious of you guys, to be honest with you. <laughs> this next song uh, is, is I, I wrote in Bali, and another song in Bali, and a friend of mine, um, you know, you go back, you know, as a, as a musician who's been traveling around and playing this and that, I go to this third world country and the first thing I want to do is do something that I never did here. I want to go play an open mic, you know, like as a, as a professional, as somebody who does it for a living, that's and usually on my, our night off, we don't usually go play an open mic. We'll just go and, and lounge at home or go maybe see some friends play or something. But um, I remember getting static for that on Facebook. So I went down and did the open mic and everybody was like, thanks for being here. And I thought that was cool. I was like, this was fun. I got to hear some great writers and stuff. But I went down to this open mic in Bali my second night there and this guy was sitting in front of me with this white hair and these blue eyes and he just looked interesting. And he was singing before, when as I walked up, I, saw, I heard the end of the set and I'm like, that guy sings like a bird. Like he's a total bird. So I, I um, he was waiting there and then I got up about three people later and, um, and I didn't know anybody and I pulled in my little scooter, and, and, and I go in this little coffee house, and there's all these beautiful people there, all these yoga people and conscious people, and it's Babood Bali, really cool place. It's like Boulder, but like compact into this little tiny Indonesian village, and uh, really cool space. And um, and I play a song, a couple songs, and they say one more, one more, and I was like, all right. And, so I played a blues song that I wrote um, of the day Ray Charles passed away called The Song for Mr. Charles. And um, I just felt like singing the blues, so I played it. Standing ovation, it was awesome. I was like, thank you guys so much. You know, so Come say hello, let's connect. I'm new here, I don't know anybody, let's, let's be friends, let's do this. And this, I walked back and this guy's like, you get over, he had this high voice, you get over, get your butt over here. He said, what is your deal? Who are you? I said, I'm Pete, he goes, I'm Angel. And I said, hey Angel. And he goes, and we talked, and I gave him my number, my info, my email, and I, I went, I went back to my uh, my bungalow, and uh, but when I, I went to the back of the room, and the girl that I was sitting with, Samia, she said, um, you know that guy you were talking to, he wrote a song that Ray Charles recorded, and I'm like, really? And I'm like, cool connection. <laughs> so it was great. And then I got home, and I, I had new friends come over to my bungalow, and we had a little pool hang, and I sang some songs, and had some wine, and. Uh, and I get this email, and I'm like, I got an email from Angel, and it says, you don't need to be playing this festival, you need to be playing this festival, or paying for this festival, you need to be playing. And it was Michael Franey's festival called this um, Soul Shine Fest. So uh, one day later, I was there, and my name was on the guest list, and I go to meet the owner of the, of the festival, and he's like, you're amazing. And I'm, Who's he talking to? And he's walking right up to me, he's like, I was in the back at the open mic last night you were at. I'm like, really? He's like, you need to play this festival. And Angel's like, that's what I'm trying to do. Da, 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 da. And I'm just like, I don't have my guitar. I didn't bring my guitar. I just came to hear music. And, and uh, Angel's like, I'll be right back. And all of a sudden, I'm like, whoa, let me just, okay. And then they gave me this guitar, and I got to share some songs with, with the crowd. But Angel's an amazing songwriter. Turns out he had the number one folk record in Nashville in, like, 76 with John Prine and all these other people. Like, he was the guy for a while. And... Um, um, just the guy had incredible songs and we'd sit on the beach in Bali and swap songs. Super cool. So he said, hey, you want to know a cool word? Matahari. It's just a beautiful word, isn't it? And I said, yeah. And he goes, we need to write a song called Matahari. It means the eye of the day. I was like, yeah, well, then I didn't see Angel for like two weeks. So I went back to Gili Island in, 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 
Lombok, near Lombok, Indonesia, and I'm hanging out by myself for a week there to write. And it was the sun was rising, and of course I'm going to write a song about the sun rising. And I'm like, I don't know, man. I'm going to write it. I'm going to write it. This is going to be called Matahari. And then I saw him, and I'm like, Angel, I got this song. He's like, what's it called? I go, Matahari. And he's like, you son of a... You took my idea. And he's like, it better be good. So, I don't know. But this is it. <laughs> He said, okay, you can have it. Wake up with the eye of this new day Make a few new friends along the way Sit before the ocean as it waves Still inside in moment I Questions here I find Turning off the noise inside my mind Everything before is left behind Still inside this moment I unwind I'm gone to stay I'm not running away I'm dancing in the places where my heart has surely taken me to be within those trees Facing fears are always hard to do Such a gift from you to only you Take yourself out way beyond the blue Still inside a moment is your gone to stay Try not running away And dance inside the places where your heart sure wants to take you to be there within those dreams that you
up with the eye of this new day. Wake up with the modern heart. Modern heart. a loop unless you hit it twice. So you hit it the first time the loop goes <laughs> and it starts playing and you just had looped. So it was always like, thanks a lot everybody. And so you do it right when you're saying thanks and then there's this noise and nobody knows what happened but they, it was, it was fairly annoying. Um, I want to do another song from uh, Kauai and uh, you know I talk too much so I hope these stories are interesting. I'm like man I keep talking. I just love talking about where the songs came from and how they how they came about. <clears throat> I've done a lot of these concerts, and a lot of times people say that they enjoy hearing about the song. Yeah. Um, yeah. So um, I'm going to do, uh, how about the, what would you like? The title track? Or, yeah. Yeah. okay. Title track. <laughs> so it's, um, on the line, the title track was going to be Still I Stay. Yeah. And, um, and, uh, this, the CD has Tim Carbone from the band Railroad Earth. He laid down some violin string section parts. And I said, I want some violin on this. He goes, fiddle. I said, no, we need violin on this. And then he's like, cool. I'm always playing like bluegrass traps. I'm so into like doing some string section stuff. It'd be great. I'm looking forward to it. So I sent him these songs. And uh, he did an amazing job on it. It sounds just incredible. I, it, getting something back. While I'm on Kauai waiting for these tracks, and I get a text from Tim, he said, send in the tracks out today, I'll be done by the end of the day. And then Milo, my friend and co-producer, engineer guy, says, got the tracks. And he goes, yeah, yeah, come check them out. I'm like, oh, man, why do you have to be all on the other side of the island? Ooh, the trees <laughs> all on the other side of the island. And I go over there, and he's got them mixed out a little bit. And I'm just like, are you kidding me? Like, thank you. This is really nice. And so it's really nice to work with great musicians, professionals that and make these songs sound so beautiful. Um, unwind. Let's unwind together, folks. Are you ready? You ready to unwind some more? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Well, um, this song... This song goes like this. I'm not going to tell the story. I'll let you, I'll let you <laughs> take this one in. Um, I think we're up here. Um,
plates and space of play and chase with time. Of such a place in space with grace, I hold her hand in mine. We stay up late in altered states, so great our fates of life. When I'm tapping to a place I chase where I go to unwind. Way deep inside my mind Yeah, I make those mistakes I take all the lessons For all of them I find Then I'm down on my knees I see this day right here Left to unwind I'm nothing more than earth and sky, the fire near the sea. My lines are untied and my acres left ashore. With nothing I've got, everything I need, so much more. So.
Three out of ten. Was that the key? I don't even know how, what key I put. Record. Another thing about this record, uh, does anybody know about 432 tuning? I was curious. Well, for, Greg, do you know about 432 tuning? I know about 420 tuning. <laughs> nice. That's, that's, that's excellent. I would have read about it. I would have read about it. Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, me too. I'm a virgin too. You know? <clears throat> um... Well, 432 tuning is the is the resonant tuning of how we're all aligned. You know, people who don't believe that we're all connected and we're all connected with the stars and everything just need to look at the ocean, mm -hmm. and then we'll figure that it's actually the full moon. You ever see the ocean on the full moon? It's pretty raging pretty much every time. It's very very connected with the planets and the universe and, and the trees and everything. We're all just water and <laughs> vibration. We all know this. Well, the tuning with 432 is that's our resonant tuning. So if you were to take a platform, I wish I had something here we could demonstrate, but you just shake this thing and they have these things on, you can YouTube it, 432, and you, you shake the sand on the, on the table and it has this thing that's hooked up to it and it's like 444. And you bring it down to 440, and it's just, just mud. And then you bring it down to 432 and it turns into beautiful snowflake crystallization, beautiful, just beautiful stuff. And dolphins and whales, we, they all resonate, they all sing in 432. The tuning was 432, but the Germans... <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. But, uh, they changed it and made it this whole worldwide net international thing where they changed the tuning everywhere to 440. Why? Because we were too relaxed with 432. Oh. It's an easier way to control people at 440. Now that's a conspiracy, but I'm a conspiracy theorist, so I believe this. Um, but it's really interesting, and and, uh, and you can look it up on YouTube, and, and there's proof, in fact, out there by many scientists and many people all around the world that know about 432 and how it, it is the true resonance of, of our human bodies, of our molecular structure with everything else that's around in the universe. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful vibration. So I decided to uh, tune all the instruments and everything we recorded this in 432. I don't know why, but I've had a couple friends listen to the record, only a couple so far, because I just got these things. And every one of them sent me a text back and said, this sounds amazing. And I'm like, maybe it doesn't sound amazing. Maybe it's just 432. <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> or it sounds amazing, and 432 is really just giving them a spirit massage or something. So, <laughs> But for that's, that's what 432 is about. Look into it. It's, it's pretty amazing. I'm really excited to have this. The only person that uh, <clears throat> couldn't uh, had a problem with it is Bob Heminger, who plays saxophone with Victor Wooten. Has anybody heard of Victor Wooten from Bayless Fuck and the Fuck Town? Yeah. You got it. Well, Bob Heminger, uh, even more. Yeah, Bob, yeah. Um, he plays saxophone with Victor a lot. He's a really great guy and a very good friend of mine. And he's on all my CDs. And he, uh, he can't really bend. He can't retune. He has to... He had to pull his reed halfway out and wet it down a lot and move it sideways a little bit. And he's like, I think I got it. I think I got it. And then he sent me the tracks. He's on a couple, three or three tracks on the disc. And he did a great job. You can't tell. But he said, man, it was a little tricky because he had to bend his reed and turn it and twist it to get to this. It's just barely noticeable. But it does feel better. So. It's just a tuning, yeah. Yeah, check it out on YouTube. 432 megahertz. Yes. So on that note, I want to bring you to the Kamala Valley on this next song. And uh, this song, um, I was finished with all my writing uh, a year ago when I was out there. And I was completely done and satisfied with the four songs, Unwind, Beautiful Soul, and a couple others. And I went, I think I might be able to get one more. I woke up in the morning and something, it was Mama Kalalau, she said, baby, wake up, baby, wake up. And I was like, hmm, I'm sleeping. And then I woke up, something woke me up, it was very strange. And I looked outside my tent and there's the beach and the ocean. And the full moon was literally just about ready to go under the ocean. It was full, it was huge. 
And I could not believe what I was seeing. And I could not believe this, that these spirits woke me up to see this. It was awesome. And then I went back to sleep after. It literally took five minutes and it was all the way down. I went back I went back to sleep. I, I woke up about a half hour later because these Shama thrush birds that are recorded. I recorded, made some recordings of them there on the CD as well. It's, there's a lot of um, in between songs. There's ocean, there's birds, and they were all recorded by myself on this out in nature out there so it's the elements of Kyle Lauer out there and it's, it's cool to kind of segue songs with that kind of stuff and um, <clears throat> so I, I woke up and I saw my friend Jamie and I said yeah, I woke up to the, to the full moon and fall below the sea and woke up from a dream and she said it sounds like a song and I'm like oh, I'll be right back and I was, I was gone eight hours when I came back and I'm like I got a song and uh, this to me for me it's my favorite song uh, that I've received out there. Um, and it's called uh, Always With You, Forever With Me. Mm. I'm just gonna look at the picture really quick before I play this. <laughs> you know, I was saying that somebody did an interview on the Mountain Magazine and wanted to interview me about Kyle Lau. I didn't know she was from New York and um, I didn't really have a great interview with her because she wanted to talk about the hippies that live back there. And my buddy Mike and I know why would we want to talk about us when, when we get, you know, it's, it's about the valley. So I, I kind of didn't really give her much of an interview. I lied to her about a lot of things. What are you living out there? No, no, there's an Uncle T out there. You know, his name? I never heard of him. And, uh, um, but I noticed that when I was going to do this interview, how in love I am with this place. And it's just like being in junior high school and your first love, you're all giddy and you want to write little notes. Yeah, I feel this way about this place, this woman call out. It's, it's really amazing. So.
Every time that I go I turn around and face the land below I I think of how I've grown And all of those from now I know I Rise again to fall So in love with everything I'm gonna take along Walk so silent, take it all in, so aligned with every step I take through valleys, over rivers I scale the ocean miles that stretch to back from where I started dancing with my mother and my father I drank their waters lit those fires and now they are part of songs from the Colorado Trail and the Hike for Cancer stuff, some Rocky Mountain songs. It feels like we need to play the Rocky Mountain songs because um, we're in the Rocky Mountains. It just makes sense. That's another thing about these uh, songs that I write in Kauai. They just don't feel right in the mountains. And, and the songs that I write in the mountains don't feel right in Kauai. Um, it's really interesting. Um, I very rarely play the Kauai songs. A lot of my friends haven't heard. Have you heard all these songs? And Nicole's a dear friend and a fan and always out there supporting and listening and she hasn't even heard many of these songs. And I think I think uh, Misty's heard, you've heard a few because we've had like sit down wine sessions before where I'm like, oh, here's another one, oh, here's another one. <laughs> so you've heard most of them, but uh, we're gonna do one more. Um, we're gonna do one from the mountains. Let's bring it to the Rockies. We'll settle in and then we'll just be back in about five, 10 minutes. I'd like to thank Melissa so much for playing. Beautiful. And Greg, thank you so much, my friend. It's a pleasure to finally enter your home and do a show. Thank you so much. I hope to come back in another year or two and, and do it again. This one's called uh, 
Life ain't always easy. And uh, I wrote this on the Colorado Trail. I had a foundation called Hike for Cancer that I started in 2007 with the helps of Nicole and her mom, Carol, and uh, a couple other people. And we um, had silent auctions, raffles, uh, held parties or gatherings with music and raised money for kids with cancer. And I hiked the Colorado Trail three years. Um, which is from Denver to Durango, it's 500 mile trail. And uh, did that, and uh, we did that for four years. And uh, it was definitely if I was ready to go and someone said, what was your favorite thing you've done in your life? That would be it for sure, I think it'll always be that. And I only broke myself one time. I broke a rib one time and I had 300 miles with a broken rib. Oh. Yes. <laughs> that hurt like that. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> Out in the mountains, the rain pouring down, the thunders are howling, there's no one. I got mud on my face and a light on my mind A few hundred more miles on these hills that I climb I can see my own breath in the middle of the day It's a lonely July and the sun runs away So Father, oh Father, could you open your skies Please give this cold day that old sun to shine yeah, you know it's times like these Make you feel so alive A little chill on the bone A little mud in your eye You can't get up Unless you fall down Down, down Yeah, well, life ain't always easy But it ain't always easy Get warm, you get smoke in your eyes, and the coffee is cold, and the whiskey's all gone. Hasn't been any better since yesterday is gone. Oh, you know, times like these make you feel so alive. A little chill in the bone, a little smoke in your eyes. You can't get up unless you fall in down. Sometimes it starts with a tear in the eye Yes, yeah, so give what you can Cause it's really all yours It's all yours Some days it rains Some days it pours Some days it rains And some days it pours I know it's times like these Make you feel so alive Chilling the bone, a little tear in the eye. You can't get up unless you fall in down.
Thank you. We'll be back in five minutes. We'll see you in ten minutes. That song there is on a CD called The Only Way I Know. And uh, I've got three CDs up there. I'll try to play a little off of each one. But thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it. This is what we look forward to more than any any kind of show, any festival or anything for me and myself. Sharing in a nice room like this is, is dreamy. So thank you very much. Appreciate it. See ya. We go back to <laughs>
Child inside you go and play Pick the fruits of life along the way Take a taste and pass it along The heart and soul to everyone's song You can take a picture in your mind If ever these times you're trying to find Grateful for them all with my new friends So glad these memories They never been no No, no Down deep inside your mind, those pictures you will find all those memories. That's how it ends on the CD. <laughs> Thank you. I love doing the live fade. I think I love the live fade. And then like to pick it, maybe we should, that'd be a fun song to like, let's try it. All these men will bring it down and then we'll, we'll bring it back. Okay. Okay, come on. All these memories. This next song. This next song is. This song really means a lot to me, and I, I hope it means a lot to you after you hear it. It's a song that we all go through. We go into this thing that it's called the great unknown, and I think uh, we all take chances in our lives. And, and again, those aren't always the friendliest ones, or sometimes sometimes we have to go through stuff we don't want to go through, and. Uh, Again, leaving, leaving everything I knew wasn't the easiest thing to do. That's a lyric right there. Yeah. We're recording, I'll get that later. <laughs> I wrote the song in Bali, uh, I know, <clears throat> after a phone conversation or a Skype conversation with a friend, and she asked me how I write my songs, and I said, well, you know, sometimes I just take my guitar and, and then I come up with this, and, and all of a sudden I had this melody. And then I said, you know, we can only talk for about five more minutes because I gotta get on the song. <laughs> and I'll call you or I'll, we'll, I'll let you let you hear it when I'm done. So this song came out of it and it's called uh, The Great Unknown. Keep it. Like I have to tell her what key it's in. That's the first time I've told her all that. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter is contagious. Okay. Sometimes I sit and wonder about when and where to go. Taking on this big old world and learning how, who to know. I'm never really alone, though often I'm alone. Where every day is another new view into the great unknown. I'm taking chances. Yes, I'm letting go Plant your seeds Yes, I watch them grow Starting over Can set 
you free Surrender me Surrender me I wake up every morning Yet yeah, I greet a brand new day Where anything is possible In every single way Learning many lessons Yeah, with some of our own mistakes Just trust your intuitions And it'll all turn out okay Taking chances Yes, and letting go your seeds is yes, and watch them grow starting over yeah, can set you free Far from fair, holes among our crooked roads are scattered everywhere. Yeah, well, life is quite a journey, and time is ours to share. So dance and live and love and give and show the world you care. Taking chances, yes, and letting go. them grow starting over and set you free friend of mine, and Andrea, and she's from Kauai, and somebody tried to get us together on Facebook. I said, oh, my friend's in Bali, and my other friend's in Bali, you guys should meet. So then we went to this party, it was this heart song, it was all these new ages, and I was loving it, man. I was open, and I was like, dancing, it was so fun. Kirtani kind of stuff, everyone's chanting, <clears throat> all these beautiful people, and then in the intermission, there was or, like this organic ice cream, so I there was this really beautiful girl, of course, and I'm standing a little next to her, and talking to her, and, and then she goes, yeah, I came from Kauai, and it turns out that's the girl that I was supposed to go there with in the first place, oh. and we became good friends, and it was Andrea, and I remember playing that song for her, and she cried, 
oh man, I got up, I slept, and it was like tears everywhere. And it was really in that song here. Sometimes these songs that I get, I don't take, I don't take credit for these songs. I can put my name on them, I can sing them. But they came from, <clears throat> they came from somewhere else. Sometimes I learn from them. Uh, all the time. And I, 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 I'm like, what am I, a hypocrite? I wrote this song, and now I'm. <laughs> no, I didn't write this song. This is, songs are for everybody. They're everyone's song. Here's a song called A Little Rain. I wouldn't mind a little rain So you and I can hide away And I wouldn't mind a little rain So me and you can waste the day away They say a little rain can purify your soul Lightning strikes, thunder rolls, rain, rain, rain.
and say a little rain can purify your soul. Lightning strikes, thunder roll. Rain, rain, rain. Down on me. tomorrow and uh and i'm gonna be gone for about a year i think i don't know um i um just recently um found a soulmate and it's not a and this isn't a a, a a love connection soulmate it's a it's a bro that i met that i i've been hanging out with and he and i have been playing music together and he also won the troubadour contest in telluride this year and uh his name is michael Fitzpatrick, and uh we just get along so well and um, recently, um, we had a guy hear us singing and playing. And um, I took second last year and the year before. And I vowed to never do that thing again. But boy, I'm glad he took first. Because if he took second, we went there together. I was going to have to give him crap for it the whole time. He won this guitar. And uh, it really sounds beautiful. And I'm super proud of him. Um, and it's just a great connection that we've discovered. We've been looking for each other musically, for a musical companionship for our lives and uh, we were singing and playing at the at Telluride and this guy said, I, I want to talk to you a second. I came over, he said, you and Michael have magic going on. And I said, well, thank you. And he's like, I want to help you guys. You guys need to record a record. And I'm willing to give you guys some money for it. And some thousands of dollars. Oh, so, so I was like, hey Michael, get over here, grab the tequila. <laughs> and uh, exactly what I said and exactly what we did. And we said, talked to him about it. We said, thank you. And we had a shot and then, um, said thank you to this this wonderful man that was down in Arizona. And so we got on to writing and we got together last Wednesday and we wrote three songs in two days wow. and we're stoked on them. It's very Tim O'Brien, Daryl Scott-esque. And, uh, and so I don't know if I'm gonna be gone for a year or more because um, I might have to just, I won't tell anybody I'm back. I'll be like in Fort Collins just writing with him. <laughs> Um, but I, I don't know. It's it's weird when you meet somebody like that. You're you're kind of like, what's the, what kind of a trick is going on here? You know, you, you're planning on leaving, and then you meet this this person that you you know you can do some things with. And hopefully, we'd have this girl named Melissa playing fiddle with us. Uh, and, uh, is it McGinney? McGinney, yes. Her last name is McGinney. She just McGinley. McGinley. Huh? That's what I said. <laughs> just muffled. Um, <clears throat> you guys want something fast, slow, or medium? Fast. Medium. Oh, he says fast. Let's do some bluegrass. Just one bluegrass tune, okay? Is this when uh, Michelle Shock would say, You mountain people? Of a. This is a song on a CD called Out of Nowhere Back There. It's a song that uh, I wrote in Winfield, Kansas at the Bluegrass Festival about 10 years ago or so. It's called Sweet Carolina. I'm just going to start looping and all that Train 
born in Carolina With the one that I love so true See that shirt rolling in from Carolina Every long girl will I feel so blue Well it's been so long since I've seen her And I don't even know what to say Good times left behind from off the railroad line We'll soon be here to stay See that train rolling in from Carolina With the one that I love so true See that train rolling in from Carolina Ain't no longer will I feel so blue, so blue Just the same. Yeah, she soon caught my eye like an angel in the sky. Is a student that spoke mountain rain. See that train rolling in from Carolina with the one that I love so true. See that train rolling in from Carolina. Ain't no longer will I feel so blue. So now what? Medium class? You want a Colorado song? Okay. Um, let's see here. What can we do? Man. There's a lot of them. Um, I've got this one I like to do. <clears throat> it is called... Finally, I finally got into the... It's 2014, by the way. I was using... Uh, I was using paper. And, and it was always falling down. It was so unprofessional. And uh, it was just flying in the breeze. I played a festival. <laughs> I'm like, can you grab that? Hold, hold the one. Hold the one. And it was just <laughs> ridiculous. So I finally, I finally got this um, <clears throat> thing. It's nice. I spent a bunch of time in my bungalow during rainy season in Bali and, and put all these songs in here. I've got a couple hundred tunes of mine in here. And I don't know all the words. And catch, catch me a little slack here. I've got a couple hundred tunes in here. Yeah. Uh -huh. I don't know all the words to them yet. Uh, I don't think I ever will. Huh. This one I did, used to know all the words to, but I don't play it much anymore. Um, but I wrote this on the Colorado Trail. Quick story about this one. This guy, I was doing Hike for Cancer, it was my second year, and I wrote this on the first year. I was on day one. Day one's a 19-mile hike, or it's a 21-mile hike. 
But you do it because there's a spot and it says cliff. You don't want to break it up into two, two uh, ten mile days because you can go further than that. So you get the full, I think it's 19 miles actually, and it takes you from Denver, uh, Waterton Canyon, and you go up, and then there's a spot that's just awesome. And I love it. And so you kind of motivates you when you know that's you're going to be your first night. You're kind of on this ledge. It's beautiful. It overlooks this river. And you can almost see the mountains. So it doesn't feel like you're really in the mountains for about a week until you get over Kenosha Pass. Then you really feel like you're in the mountains. But in the beginning, you're in the foothills. You know, you're, and you're still lower and it's hotter and everything like that. Um, <clears throat> and this guy was there. And he was trying to be, he, his energy was really weird. He was there. He was trying to be like tough guy. And I was just like, why? There's this guy trying to be a tough guy. And he had this, this kid with him I thought was his kid. And uh, so you can play your guitar. You know, and I was just like, who is this guy? Like, I'm just sitting here trying to write a tune, bro. Which I was writing um, uh, Moonlight Romance, which we were playing earlier at Sunshine. And I was writing this little ditty. And, and then I'm like, well, right now I'm kind of writing right now. And he goes, oh, so you know any songs? Or, yeah, it's just, oh, it's, it's bugging me. I'm like, yeah, check this clip out over here, buddy. Check it out. And... Uh, and so I asked him what he was doing. He said, well, I've got my friend's kid with me. And, and you know, he looked like he was all sore and everything. And <clears throat> I didn't like him, obviously, you can tell. So I'm like, okay, so I'm sitting there, and I get my spot. because so I put my back, back right on the spot. And they were laying there, didn't realize anybody was coming. And I, I saw him, so I like ran over to the spot, put my backpack there. I'm like, cool, I got my spot. And then we're sitting there, and he, they're over there, human beings, sort of coexisting. And... Uh, and then he asked me if I will play a song. And I said, sure. So I played this song. And it was literally, there was lightning, there was rain, there was a sun setting. It was so beautiful. And the song just made so much sense. And he cried like a baby in the sky. He just cried and wept. And I was like, he's not so tough. <laughs> this guy's not so tough. So called Finally Made at Home, which uh, for me, um, I, you know, I had this new girlfriend in my life, Amity, she can't be here with us tonight, because she went to California to watch her baby, be, her friend's baby be born, to be there in the procedure, and got there the day before, and her friend had her baby the next day. It was awesome. She said it was the most beautiful thing she's ever been a part of, and um, I'm pretty happy that she's there, actually. But, um, <clears throat> no, I forgot, because I started thinking about her. <laughs> Uh, anyways, it's called Finally Made at Home. Oh, my whole thing was, it's, it makes me feel like I feel home in the mountains. She feels home in Kauai or California. She needs the ocean. She was like a fish out of water and water for like a month. And she's flopping around and all this stuff. Um, but this one's called uh, Finally Made at Home. It, it really feels good to be back in the hills. Yes. Time in the mountains, 
sweet little time on my own So far from the sounds of the highway Well I'm feeling like I found me at home If I found another side Well, I found another side yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know I had another side Sounds of the sea. I feel like I find a baby home. Oh. The CDs, uh, you know, I'd like to get them all in your hands. So, you know, just, just you know, if you, if you want the other ones, just throw some money in there and grab them. Or, like, I don't want to scare you away with 15. Just grab one. You know, I want to get all my music in here. And you can go to my website and, uh, and get the CDs online as well. Um, I'm going to do a song that I wrote. Speaking of the person I was talking of just before this, and uh, this is a song called Two Gypsy Souls. Since the soul made me feel this way I've been waking up late 
With a big old smile on my face The sun found its way to shine on a cloudy day Well every moment is a memory From a beautiful place We'll take a walk in the morning Straight into the afternoon I buy jungle bungalow and I buy money too. We put our feet in the sand, hand in hand, beside the ocean blue, or where every other step lies a heart-shaped shell and a bit of truth. For two gypsy soldiers and three islands later, one inside of the world finds another one great. For each other Take a chance with the dance With one another We both don't know tomorrow And hardly know right now But something tells me, girl We can make this work somehow You got your nuts and cold dreams I got my head in the clouds Yes, so we both have wings and time to figure this all out. I guess we'll never know unless we give it a try. A whole lot of wonder in that first sweet look in the eyes. Throw some wood on the fire so the spark doesn't ever die. And there's a reason where the moment fills you up inside. Gypsy souls, the three islands later. One side of the world finds a little one greater. Two gypsy souls, for each other. Yeah. Take a chance with the dance with one another. Oh. One side of the world finds another one great. Two gypsy souls for each other. Take a chance with the dance with one another. Two gypsy souls. Two gypsy souls. Two gypsy souls. I know it's getting late, um, and I appreciate y'all being here so late. So we're just gonna end with one. If you want to encore, that's when we don't we bump our heads into the wall here because there's no backstage. So <laughs> and then just be like, if you want one more, that's usually how it works. You know, like, oh, one more. Yeah, all right. Gonna <laughs> uh, do all that. So, um, so uh, 
Yeah, I'd like to um, end with I'd like to end with this song. This is the was going to be the title track of the CD, um, but it's not. There's my story. Uh, this one though is uh, a song that I wrote um, a couple years ago back in the Colorado. This, this is uh, definitely this is the last song in the CD. Because after this song, you can't have anything else really. Prepare yourselves for something very deep and beautiful. I cannot wait to hear Melissa on this song. Yeah, you know with this chord something's gonna happen. And I 
first song on my last CD, and the first song on my new CD is called Surrender. They were both, the Sweet Surrender was the first song I wrote in Kauai, in Kaha, and Surrender was the last song I've written in Kaha. Jeez, I gotta remember how to play this, Michael. Michael just wrote a book about the Kaha Valley, and the people back there, and the place, and how it is, and and when is that going to come out, Wayne? Uh, Christmas. Love and Magic in Neverland. Yeah. I think he's going to put this song on there. Are going to put it on the soundtrack or whatever? He's got a, a CD for it. Um, Christmas. Yeah, I met Michael back in 1999. the valley. I'll never forget once. Hiking back there. And it was like my fourth time back there. And I knew Michael would be back there. He's always back there in February and January. And I came back and he's like, I heard you were coming. And I walked around this corner and he's like, want some red wine? And I was like, yeah. And then we saw those two girls that I met earlier. And I said, you guys aren't going to be back there five days. You're going to be back there five weeks. Well, they were back there for like eight weeks. They went out and got their sister at the airport and brought her back in. And the one girl, Autumn, or April? Autumn, she's still back there, and that was three years ago. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, it's a very special place. The song's called Sweet Surrender. There's a trade wind blowing winter seas on the Pali's rocky shore. And my sails are set to take me there for a day or maybe more. And I'm gone, 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 far away from the weight upon my mind. And I'm gone, gone, gone. Sweet surrender, break those chains that bind. Gotta allow some secret swallow me. Your cathedrals greet the sky for the fruit you bear. 
will give me strength to spread my wings and fly and be gone, 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 far away from the way upon my mind. Surrender, break those chains that bind Break those chains that bind As I sit and breathe the ocean air My lungs are filled with light my eyes and manifest the best in this short life. Yeah, and I'll be gone, 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 far away from the way upon my mind. I'll be gone, 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 sweet surrender, break those chains and bind. From the way upon my mind, help me go, gone, gone. Sweet surrender, break those chains that bind. Oh, tell me, sir. please. That's so abrupt. That song is just like you're driving fast down the hill. You gotta, we gotta slow you down here before you get down that steep road. Okay, we're gonna do one more song. One more about a river in Virginia. And uh, this is a song that I won some money and a guitar on Tell You right last year. I like it like this. This is a B, and it's got the major chord in there. Um, and it twists around. Yeah, you remember this. Oh yeah, she's got it. Yeah, she's got it. Um, but I 
mess the words up at the laughing goat, so I'm going to pull them up. Uh, uh, because we're keeping score. You don't want to be a laughing goat. <laughs> 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 Memory. What's it called? <laughs> What's it called? Is it a memory of mine? Maybe I put it under A, a memory of mine? <laughs> Again, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much, Greg, for having me. And Melissa. Again, Melissa, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try my best to get her out to Germany <laughs> or wherever else. I don't know, but Melissa, we'll stay in touch for sure. Look forward to playing more music with you. Um, and uh, Alex, thank you so much for bringing your gear out here and recording, not only with video but audio, and I uh, appreciate that very much. Thank you, Alex. It's all free. Everyone can have it free, unless you've got to get paid. You know. No. 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 So. <clears throat> That's beautiful. Thank you, Alex. And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for coming here. Uh, Hindi, thanks for coming by from Denver. Uh, um, oh my gosh, Trey's here. I haven't even had a chance to give you a big hug. Thank you so much. Trey let me borrow her car the last week. Uh, thank you for your bed, Nicole. <laughs> Carol, thank you so much. There's so much, uh, so much thanks. Terry, thanks for your sweetness and bringing some friends. And, and I mean sweetness. She makes the big cakes and everything like that. She's always bringing the sweetness. Michael, thanks for coming up here, man. All the way, Michael drove all the way from the San Luis Valley today. And, and came out to the show. Everybody, thanks. Thanks to you guys. Sorry to hear of your father, but, uh, um, you know, he's always there. So, um, this song's called Memory of Mine. About you, baby, me. I will see you soon again. As you roll on by, South Virginia countryside, so and why, right through my life, this will always be the memory I go to when I'm missing you. River, river, slow and wide Round a smoky mountainside You take my thoughts and you ease my mind Don't know where you run to, darling We're both a little lazy, baby, May. I will see you soon again As you roll on by South Virginia countryside Slow and wide Right through my life This will always be the memory I'll go to When I'm missing you Now I'm missing you
River, river, you sure to shine Sun up in that morning sky You give me truth in a little light Yeah, you've given me some truth, my darling I bathe in your beauty, baby May I will see you soon again As you roll on by South Virginia countryside Slow and wide Drive through my life This will always be the memory I go to When I'm missing you yeah, this will always be the memory I go to when I'm missing for green. Boulder Creek. See you in about a year or so, and I uh, hope to do one of these again and have all your beautiful faces here. Appreciate it so much. <laughs>